automotive news outlook on the Homer Guy channel. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high-intensity training for car buyers. Today, I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth, and we have a great show for you, so take it away, Liz. We discussed the California startup Ha on Motive Holdings before. They have quietly pursued an ownership stake in Korean automaker Sung Young Motor Company. While temporarily shelving their plans to get U.S. factory space, they now have a partner in China known as Cherry Automotive. Cherry Automotive. According to Korean media, Ha will be investing $250 million in Sangyong initially. We'll see what comes of that. The Vantus VX is the possible first vehicle to hit the U.S. market, so watch for it. Nissan has been rolling out incentives for dealers on their pickups. As you may be aware, they put the kibosh on their stair-step dealer incentive program, something that nobody liked and ticked off a lot of people and move to a new program, a new volume-based program for full-size pickups. This program will definitely benefit the bigger stores. So for you Nissan buyers out there, there's a clue in there somewhere for you. The bigger dealers are likely to have more incentives on the new trucks you want. Under this program, dealers can earn an additional $2,500 to $4,000 per pickup, depending on how many they sell. That's a lot of Benjamins, isn't That's it? That's a lot. All right, find the right dealer and that money could translate into savings for you and perhaps an additional 4,000 that you get to keep in your own pocket. Watch our video on leverage because you'll have to use these strategies in given areas to find the dealer who will do the most to help you. There are a lot of auto tech startups out there, which has investors salivating. So if you thought cars had really moved into high tech space already, watch for that trend to continue. Even with record highs in the stock market in recent times, smart investors can still find some opportunities for undervalued stocks and the chance to make some big bucks down the road. And Liz knows a little bit about stocks. <laughs> well, we're not investment advisors, so don't get confused here. But if this interests you, I suggest that you pay attention to electrification, digitalization, and automated driving technologies. Those are the sectors that we expect will see the most growth for automotive investments. That might have been an insider tip there. The Mercedes-Benz CLS is getting a new grille and bumper for you Mercedes-Benz lovers out there. Just be aware that this sedan might be nearing its end as Mercedes seems to be quietly cutting out some of their car models and the CLS is one of those that's on the chopping block. And Toyota is putting new life into its 86 Sport Coupe with more muscle and boosted performance under the hood. It's being called the GR86, which is an acknowledgement of the Gazoo Racing line. That's a fancy name, Gazoo Racing. They dropped the 2.0 liter and are going with a bigger 2.4 with more get up and go. Toyota says it will go from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds. Pretty fast for a little four-cylinder. That is very quick for a little four-banger. Here on the Homer Guy channel, we always advise people that when you're putting together your car budget, that you talk about or think about your total cost of ownership. Things like insurance, maintenance, and repairs have to be taken into consideration. This leads us to a conversation about tires today and more specifically, Goodyear Viva carried exclusively by Walmart. In the near future, we're going to do a solo story on this because we've received a lot of information on these tires. But if you're thinking about putting new tires in your vehicle and these low, low prices at Walmart seem attractive to you, I'm going to give you a couple of preliminary things to think about. First, go online and read the reviews. You'll notice that there are plenty of happy people, but about 20% of the reviews are one star. And wow. there's a number of people that are having problems that they're pointing to. Now, the Goodyear Viva boasts a 60,000 mile warranty, but many consumers are reported that they're only getting 20 to 25,000 miles on these tires. Here's one small indication that you might want to think twice about Goodyear Viva tires. Nobody but Walmart carries them. Try and visit any of your local reputable tire shops and ask to see a Goodyear Viva tire. Well, they're not going to have one. Why not? Well, then think back to the Walmart business model, which is all about having the cheapest of everything. No Walmart marketing program will ever say, we have the best quality. They never have. When it comes to Goodyear Viva tires, we decided that instead of accepting other people's opinions, that we would buy some of these tires ourselves and test them. We'll share those results in an upcoming video so we can go more in depth. But let me just say this. Don't forget our point about reading customer reviews. Those bottom rankings are quite often done by people who know something about tires. Yep. And they are trying to teach you something about what they know something you might want to know about Goodyear Viva tires. Two car makers are in the Shanghai Auto Show spotlight. Ford introduced its midsize crossover, and GM is also showcasing the Buick Envision Plus crossover and the Cadillac Lyric electric crossover concept. Of course, there are many others, but Ford and GM have elected to introduce these vehicles to overseas markets. Have you noticed all the video content rolling out from car makers these days? 
One of the effects of the pandemic had on automakers was to get them to rethink how they reach people. That's why you're seeing a huge influx of video in all the marketing strategies. With less direct communication, face-to-face -face interactions, well, video helps to put a little more human touch on their message, and they are doing just that with families and everyday people they're showcasing on camera, talking about their cars. Many automakers have turned the back end of their vehicles into moving billboards. Indeed. You won't need to put on your reading glasses to see what vehicle you're following. <laughs> Nissan, for example, has the word Pathfinder stretching from taillight to taillight, and Jeep Grand Wagoneer does the same. You can't miss it. The Santa Cruz on the back of the Hyundai covers the entire lift gate. So with so many vehicles in the market, car makers are doing their best to try to get noticed. Call it moving billboards or a new marketing strategy, but watch for all of that capitalized names being splashed against the back end of cars. Now you'll be out taking a drive with your grandparents in the back seat. One of them will lean forward to say, look, Johnny, we're following a Pathfinder. Yeah. yeah, your Sunday drive just got a lot more exciting. All right, this next story is good. First, any of you who have received a flyer from your local dealership claiming that you are a big winner of cash or other prizes, did any of you get one of those? Yep. Well, this has been a marketing tactic for years and usually is accompanied by trade guarantees to try to get you to bring your vehicle in. The point of this, of course, is just getting consumers to come into the dealership and buy a car. We've seen so much of this, it's hard to remember any specific one. However, I do remember a dealer sending out 40,000 keys on flyers to people in their area, claiming somebody had the key that would open the doors. Do you remember that one? I Liz? do. Wow. Yeah. Of course, none of the keys were for the right one. That car was still sitting there long after the contest was over. Well, sometimes these flyer promotions come back to bite a dealer in the butt. Four Oregon-based dealers found that out the hard way. Shepard Motors... Ray Schulten's Motors, Brad's Cottage Grove Chevrolet, and Newburgh Ford. These dealers just got blasted by the Attorney General's office in Oregon for sending out flyers that indicated high dollar prizes, claiming the recipient had won hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Guys, when something seems too good to be true, it always is. But then people showed up to these dealers. They wanted those prizes only to learn it was just a ploy to get them into the dealership. Surprise, surprise, no actual money was going to be paid out. Well, Shepard Motors, for example, had 392 people thinking they had won 750 bucks, but they got a $29 smartwatch instead. How Ooh. nice. You know, because everyone is just desperate to get one of these watches these days. <laughs> I can't help but laugh about that. Shepard Motors has agreed to send all of these people a $50 check now. In the end, these four dealers are distributing 148000 to consumers who claimed that they were shortchanged and another 329000 in costs and penalties. Several consumers are also receiving reimbursements because of their trade-in minimum guarantee. Well, that didn't hold up any water either. Of course, they got lowballed on those trades. Should we have been Ouch. or they should have been surprised by any of that? No, of course not. So people in the car business talk about how much things have changed, as if magically now the car business is fixed. Both of us recall dealers doing this very same stuff to people for years, almost anywhere we've been. Right. And the car sales trainers, dealer employees like sales staff and finance managers have the audacity to claim people like us, the homework guy team, and other YouTubers are giving them a bad reputation. Oh, no, you don't get to lay that on our plate. We just tell people about the shenanigans like this one that car dealers pull, and we get that you don't like it. So no problem. We'll just keep telling people about it. Thanks to these four dealers in Oregon and others like them, well, they're still sadly at the bottom of the list of the least trustworthy professions in the U.S. 44 straight years since Gallup started doing their professions poll back in 1977. A car salesman has been right at the bottom. If nothing else, you got to admire their consistency, <laughs> right? By the way, it was these kinds of dealers who gave birth to super high intensity training we offer for car buyers. That's so right. They were on our channel constantly saying these guys are full of the you know what. Our staff got together one day. We laughed about it. We rolled with it. Super high intensity training was born, and yes, we're full of it. If you appreciated our automotive news and outlook video, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on your favorite social media platforms out there. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. But if you really want to help and you want yourself and your friends to be the luckiest people on the planet, well, lucky people are great. Yeah, well then help us get the word out, share our content, encourage others to subscribe too, because our subscribers are always getting lucky on their car deals. Your great luck helps bring fairness and honesty to the car business. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with the amazing Elizabeth and the best automotive show on the planet. Well, we gotta go.